I know there is a land of beautiful flowers where we'll meet again when life is old where we'll while the endless hour on heaven's bright The prettiest beds of flowers will be blooming by the prettiest streets our eyes will ever behold, where the beautiful tree of life for us is waiting by the prettiest mansions made of purest gold. I want to. That eternal morning in the sky Where we'll live in peace for endless ages Where we'll never say goodbye The prettiest robe and crown I'll be wearing In the same four square The angels will be singing on that beautiful morning by the river of life, by the prettiest mansion made of purest gold, singing and dancing with Marjorie Jones. Welcome to Out of the Blue, number 272. So uh, that is a song I've done before, Prettiest Beds of Flowers, and uh, I want to introduce, introduce the song neo Swedenborgianistically. So that song comes from Ralph Stanley, who's a bluegrass singer and from the Stanley Brothers, and he, it's an original of his, but the imagery, so here we have Ralph Stanley. And he gets this imagery somewhat from Swedenborg via Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed was Swedenborgian and traveled in the South talking about Swedenborg's ideas and even handing out chapters of Swedenborg's books. So. Swedenborg to Johnny Appleseed to Ralph Stanley to me and you, right? And see. Um, but we're not talking about Swedenborg exactly. We're talking about Neo Swedenborgianism. Neo Swedenborgianism is different than Swedenborgianism because Swedenborg's from the 1700s. He believed what he saw. Um, Johnny Appleseed is from the 1800s. He believes what he said. Ralph Stanley's from the 1900s. Uh, he believed this whole picture, this whole um, afterlife type picture. But now we are in the 2000s. So we're not Swedenborgians. We don't believe like Johnny Appleseed believes. What we see is that this is a an illusionary phenomenon that happens within the human psyche. Um, that's Neo-Swedenborgianism. But, though it is, an, is illusionary, there are patterns that can be observed and um, conclusions that can be drawn. And uh, basically the conclusion is that um, illusion or no, it is still something that we experience as real when we experience it. And so that's how we can say, I know there is a land of beautiful flowers. I know there is a land of beautiful flowers. 